Welcome back, Dr. Christy Dressel to Inside Healthcare. Thank you so much for having me. I know it's been a busy couple of months here. What are you currently seeing in the urgency room as far as COVID, influenza, and even RSV? We are seeing a lot of patients for the viral respiratory illnesses this winter. Everyone seems to be hit very hard with flu and RSV on top of the ongoing underlying COVID infections. And if someone um, may have the symptoms and they test positive for COVID, what, should, what do you recommend now for their treatment? Well, right now, it really depends on your underlying risk factors. There are oral antiviral treatments available for, and these are best for patients who are at high risk for more severe infections. These are patients particularly who are over the age of 65 or have underlying health concerns, particularly heart or lung problems. If you have any underlying or chronic medical conditions and test positive for COVID, it would be best to check with, uh, check with a doctor about your risk factors and if you would benefit from a prescription for an antiviral medicine. So when should they come see someone like you at the urgency room? Well, we are certainly giving prescriptions and doing risk assessment for severe infections. So we do give prescriptions for antiviral medications for those who qualify. We also provide the benefit of being able to assess for other complications of COVID, such as dehydration or respiratory failure, which means that your oxygen levels are low and you need additional care for that. For patients with dehydration, we can provide IV fluids and medications to help with nausea. For those who have more serious COVID infections or COVID pneumonia, we can assess for the need to be hospitalized or need for other medications. So how do you know if uh, your symptoms are COVID, influenza, if it's more serious, if it's pneumonia? I mean, how do you know about that? Well, a lot. there's a lot of overlap of the symptoms um, between all of the viral respiratory illnesses. Things that we look for for being more severe is if someone becomes short of breath, they become very weak, they have symptoms that come and stay for a prolonged period of time and they're not getting better. Yeah, I've heard a number of um, friends and family that, you know, that they have some of these symptoms and they go, they don't know what it is. And so many are still isolating themselves if, in case it is COVID or not. But other advice for someone that might suddenly have symptoms, especially if it's um, maybe a, a child or an, an elderly member of every family. So as far as taking care of oneself when you know, it's fever control is really important. Uh, keeping the fever down reduces how, how poorly you feel and you know anyone's starting to feel pretty poorly with the fever. Um, if you're having more severe symptoms, such as shortness of breath, bad vomiting or diarrhea, you're worried that you're getting hydrated, you have symptoms that just seem more severe than your average cold, um, you're getting short of breath, any of those things would be reasons to be seen. In the urgency room, tell us a little bit about, for people who aren't familiar with it, and um, how is that different from other clinics, hospitals, things like that? And, and I understand you are now um, scheduling um, care. Why don't you tell us about it? So the urgency room is a medical facility that's staffed by emergency medicine specialists, that's physicians and uh, our advanced practice clinicians that are specially trained to handle acute medical issues and emergencies. We have three locations, Egan, Badness Heights, and Woodbury. This winter, we started offering uh, appointments, same-day appointments for uh, non-emergent conditions. So you can go to our website and make an appointment for a scheduled time. We did this to try to spread patients out throughout the day and provide a better patient experience. Uh, we were, before scheduled appointments, starting to experience some very long wait times because of just demand of care. And we were seeing that throughout the Metro. The appointments allow us to offer a little bit less wait for the patients sure. and a better idea of how, when and how quickly you can be seen. So that's something that can get that information right on your website. In that. Right, Any the website is the best place to get appointment information. Any other advice that you would give um, 
our viewers to help them get through these final months of winter and safely and healthy. So there's a lot of respiratory illness out there. Um, we get a lot of questions about when can I go back to work or school or my usual activities. COVID still has the very specific recommendations for a period of time. For all of the other respiratory illnesses, we recommend being fever-free for 24 hours before return to uh, work, school, other activities, covering coughs and uh, coughs and sneezes, of course. Good hand washing is really important. All of the all of the basics of infection prevention are still going to be really important as we we make it through this uh, more more uh, severe respiratory season.